Hello and welcome to X and Y Gaming Casually Competitive. And in today's video, the search for Mako Tsunami continues. So here I have uh, 20 something, I think. Attack from the Deep. Oh man. I just want to be able to, like, I have, I have this deck. And I say it's a deck, it's just like water cards in general <laughs> thrown together. But, you know, hopefully I can pull something good. Uh, something that'll actually make a Mako Tsunami deck viable. Uh, the Neo Daedalus would be great. The, um... <gasps> oh. oh! Flip this card over when you activate the skill. The world's greatest fisherman. Once per turn, you pay 500 life points, discard a water monster, then add a monster from your graveyard to your hand. Um, with different level, no more than twice. Uh, yeah. That's not terrible. By any means. Uh, not exactly the one I was hoping for. The, the one I'm hoping for, the Neo Daedalus one, the patch that would help the most is, or the, the skill, I should say, the skill that would help, help the most, um, um, it lets you activate the field spell Yumi from your deck. It's either your deck or your graveyard, and it's only once per duel, but it's like, and it's not all it does, it does a secondary skill, but, oh man. You get you do that, and then you get Daedalus out, and then you just use its effect. I was so excited. I finally pulled Mako Tsunami, and it's not even necessarily the better skill I'm going for. <laughs> but you know, these these things, the uh, the packs are a gamble, man. You know. You just gotta take what you get, really. I'm, I i do not know why. I just, I really like High Tide Gyojin. He just looks interesting, like a cool card. Hey, Axe Raider. These, like, I don't know, man. I guess maybe one's a Yugi card and one's a... What is that, a Joey card? Ugh. They're just, they're, they're so similar. And they're not, this, well, I don't know, I guess. If you're going for a Blade Knight build, maybe. It just seems they'd have more water monsters than warriors. Like, all the warriors should have been in the Scars of Battle. I need to consider putting this in my spell counter deck. And, um, this Imairuka isn't necessarily the best card ever, but he's adorable. I will love it. But, um, not enough to, honestly, not enough to run it in the Miko deck. I don't think I'm, I don't think I have one in there. I can't remember. I don't think I do. Like... Yomi ship demands it gets destroyed by battle or whatever, and that's fine. Oh, hey, <laughs> speed of the devil. It demands it gets destroyed for its effect, but its effect is that it destroys a thing, and that's fine. The Imaruki, unless I'm mistaken, let's see. It has to be destroyed by your opponent's card, so either card battle or card effect. And then you send the top deck, you send the card, top card of your deck to the graveyard, and if it's a water, you draw a card, which, okay, that's cool. But, you know, you might be also discarding a useful spell trap. Like, it's just a... Oh, it's a little more of a gamble than I care for. Watch, it's going to be the second copy. Oh my god. I was joking. I didn't want that. I didn't want two of the... Oh my god. Why couldn't it... Oh. 
That is frustrating. Out of literally any other ultra rare card pull, it could have been. Oh, man. That could have been. That could have been Daedalus. Or, or the actually good. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Guilford the Lightning. Now, I'm actually running, um, what's it called? I'm actually running the Gear Freed monster in the Warrior deck, but I don't know. I might have to look into making that as, oh my god, please. Please do not be another of the world's greatest fishermen. I cannot take another. Ah, <sighs> okay. Start the duel off with Yumi. That's pretty good. I don't know if you can use it with Daedalus, though. I'm pretty sure Daedalus demands that you uh, send it to the graveyard. And I'm almost certain skill cards don't go to the graveyard. They just get turned back upside down. <laughs> They're like, uh, they're like their own entity, you know what I mean? Like, wherever you decide to put them, I just usually put them like here. Or like here, if I've already used it. Like a, like the My Valentine Tribal Synergy one. You can only use that twice a duel. So, you know, I'll use it, usually to draw the one card. And then I'll use it again to draw two cards. And I'll just kind of flip it over and put it down here. Just kind of keep it out of the way. But also, I don't use, um, oh, oh, Blade Knight. I mean, still, it's cool to get a rare card, but, I don't know, maybe I'll put it in the Warrior deck. There's probably often times where I have little cards in my hand, so it would be pretty cool to have, um, 2,000 attack monster. Not to mention, he gets to negate flip effect monsters. I don't really have any. Like, I don't really run Man Eater Bug or anything in any of the decks. I might... I don't know, if I can't build the proper Mako Tsunami deck, I'll, I might build that really annoying deck a Vault has. Where it's like three Yomi Ship, three Man Eater Bugs, two Jar of Avarice. Oh man, that... Like three security orbs or something, like... It's, it's the worst. It's actually objectively the worst. Would, I would... I would hate it if I was in an actual tournament, right? And it's like, oh, here's my Tribal Synergy deck, or, or you know, here's a, here's my Skull Servants for fun, for the lols, you know, whatever. And it's like, you just keep getting bodied by Man Eater Bug and Yomi Ship. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Hey, the Legendary Fisherman. Yeah, that would drive me nuts. That really would. I don't, I don't know if I could take it. Be like, look, man, that guy needs to get disqualified. He's running a bad deck I don't like. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to a tournament and actively try to get someone dis. Ooh, maybe this one's it. I wouldn't try to get someone disqualified for running a deck I don't like. <gasps> Son of a. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not cool. This is the least coolest thing that could be happening right now. Three, the world's greatest fishermen. And no, like, that could be Daedalus, that could be Daedalus, that could be Daedalus. That could be the other skill card I actually want. Oh my god, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I swear, don't even. I just, it's a Yumi. Yeah. Because it said start over, put it in your field zone. Oh my god. One of the first set of packs I got from this Attack from the Deep. I didn't get a single Mako card. Now I'm getting... I've gotten three. Normally I get like maybe one from each box. But this isn't... These aren't the boxes. These are just packs. These are repackaged... Oh no. These are repackaged packs from a box. I've got to stop opening it like that. I'm going to keep bending the cards. Well, I've got a lot of Sinister Serpents. And it's the eroded version, too. So it's like, uh, 
It gets banished if it's still in your graveyard again or something. I'm just, oh my god. I'm still not sure how it works, honestly. Please do not be. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Good. Good. That's what I want. I'm either going to start a duel with this one or that one. I just... <sighs> so frustrating. And none of these are Daedalus. Uh, oh, it is. It's the last one. Well, hey. Please be Daedalus. Watch it be another of the world's greatest fishermen. Okay, it's not. Okay. That would be frustrating. Well, it's not even anything rare. That would be frustrating. That would be worse than frustrating. Ugh. I don't even... Just... This was the Sinister Serpent. Now it's Catch of the Day. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, we're going to start... What is that one? Imaruka. Oh, he was in the deck. Just as a face-down placeholder for one of these two. Awesome. Finally. Finally I can make I where I have it. I have it now. The Mako deck. How many Yumi's am I running? I think two. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm running what is it? This destroyed into our monsters. I oh that's for setting up slushy. Yeah. We'll just take out because I think I'm running three of these, but it's only sixteen. And it would be eighteen hundred, eighteen fifty. I'll take one out. And throw in another Yomi ship. Yeah. Two Yomi ships. And so I don't even... I'm probably an idiot. Well, I mean... That, there's nothing probably about that. I am an idiot. Let's just clarify that. If you control the legendary fisherman, you can activate Yomi directly. Do you have to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am an idiot. So you have to summon him. You have to be controlling him, and then you can activate Yumi from the deck or graveyard. And then once per turn, when the legendary fisherman you control destroys a monster by battle or inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can special summon one level four lower water monster from your deck and or graveyard in defense position. Okay, so I was right. It does have a secondary skill, and it's actually a pretty good one because you can basically just keep monsters on your field. And it's funny you can just keep Yumi shipping. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize you had to actually... Oh, man. Now i got to find a way to make sure he stays alive. On the field, change the target to face down. Okay. Well, anyways. I mean, I mean, you can just pause the video and, like, see all these cards, but there will be a deck profile eventually when I get a better, more definitive build going. Hopefully it's just not a bunch of water and stall trap cards, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I finally, finally got the catch of the day. Mwah, chef's kiss. Beautiful. And an extra Yumi. We'll figure out which one is works better, but, uh, let's just, uh...